uh, I pulled the top off of my uh, condensing unit, at least enough to show you a little something here. See, there's my compressor that's inside the condensing unit. <clears throat> this is a scroll. By the way, it's a two and a half ton hermetic scroll. Um, it's a uh, Copeland. So now there's one thing about heat pumps that, uh, well, it, you kind of have to want to take a look at. You see, take a look at well, what is, do you think is missing here? Well, I would say it's a heat uh, crankcase heater. Um, I uh, prefer, even though Copeland does claim that you don't really require to have a crankcase heater on their scroll compressors, I tend to would rather have one on there. And I've decided to put one on my own air conditioner right now. So, here's what I bought. See, Copeland certified parts. Um, open this up and here we go see this is what a wraparound crankcase heater looks like and first of all I'll go ahead and um, pull it apart okay so I've here it is this is what the uh, crankcase heater looks like uh, before it's installed on a compressor this one by the way is a 70 watt uh, crankcase heater. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the compressor. So it's, you know, just kind of wrap this on there um, towards the bottom of the compressor. Okay, and then down here at the bottom you can put the, the strap on the uh, this other end here. It's usually not too difficult to uh, to get this crankcase heater wrapped around there. Now the hard part really is in tightening the screw. As you can see this screw is designed for a 5 16 nut driver. The reality is, is if you use a 5 16 nut driver, well, you're going to have a difficult time getting this crankcase heater on there. This screw will pop out and re release all the tension that you've accomplished in uh, screwing this together, and you'll have to start all over again. So you're better off just to use a flat screwdriver, because it is designed for that as well. Anyway, now um, I've got it sort of tight. I can keep using my uh, screwdriver. Now, of course, this basically works uh, or tightens very similar, if not exactly the same way, as like a pipe clamp. You know, you want it kind of tight. You don't want to over tighten. You don't want it like just hunker down on her or nothing, or it probably will break. You just kind of want to snug it really good to where uh, it's not loose or anything like that. All right, now I have here the wires that uh, go to the crankcase heater. As you can see, they are connected to it. And what I have to do is I have to run these wires into the control panel in a manner that uh, will not uh, hinder the condensing fan motor and things like that. All right, I'll go ahead and put them through this hole here, which is for most, which is where right about all of my other wires are running into the control panel, which is right here. See how all the you know, the wires are coming through. So here we are at the control panel and I have the wires. What I'll do of course is this green wire right here will be connected to ground someplace. Now what we have here are the 
the wires that uh, get connected to 240 volts. So what I'll do is I'll just connect them right here. Straight, direct, so they're lit all the time. Usually I prefer to use something like a, uh, an auxiliary contact uh, that uh, is connected to the side usually of like a contactor, but that's usually for commercial use. In this case, this is residential use, and so I'll just connect it directly hot so that it'll run 24-7 uh, on the compressor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crimp a uh, uh, connector on both of these wires, okay? Somebody out there asked me if I would show you how to crimp connectors on wire. Well, here it is. See, it's pretty simple. Just slide the connector over the wire that you've uh, stripped and then take your crimper and because, see, now my crimper will uh, do uh, insulated and non-insulated terminal connectors. I'll go ahead and select the insulated portion for the, in this case and uh, crimp it. Okay. Okay, here we go again. I'll put the connector on the uh, wire. All right, and then I can take again my uh, crimper and I'll use the first the uh, part for uh, insulated connectors and then the non-insulated one. Okay. And then I'm going to put the ground wire on. Um, let's see, make sure I'm taking a wire. Not to, okay. And, uh, you know, you can just ground this to, your, you know, you have if you have a ground log right there, as I do, you can put it there, really. But in this case, I'm just going to put it right on the, the uh, cabinet. There. Okay. Now I can put the the top back on the air conditioner. Yeah. 